Hello and welcome to the tutorial for logging into our new online banking system here at Heritage South Community Credit Union. This tutorial is for anyone who is an existing user on our previous online system. There is a separate tutorial for anyone who is logging in for the first time and creating a new account, but this is for anyone who had one with our previous system. The first time you log in, there are several steps you will have to go through to set up some new security settings. You will only have to do this the first time you log in with your old account. After you go through it the first time, you'll not have to do it again. When you visit our home page and click on the online account access link, it'll bring you to this page. This is the new login for our online banking system, and you'll be using your account access ID from your previous login and your previous password. Now we will start by typing in our username. Please note that if your username is more than 12 characters, only type the first 12 characters. So we will type in our username and then we will hit submit. It will bring us to a page where we type in our account password that we had set up on the previous banking system. If your password on your old system was more than 10 characters long, please just type in the first 10 characters of the password. And then hit submit. It will now ask us to change our online password you will be required to change the password and it needs to be no more than 10 characters long. So we will now type in our password that we had previously set up along with a new password and hit continue. And this is where we will select an image that will display every time we log in. This lets you know that you're logging into our system. So you can select any number of images you can go through and find the one that you prefer. We'll hit submit to move to the next page. This page is explaining to you the security questions you're about to set up. If, you, if we happen to detect that your account is being accessed from a new computer that you haven't been on before, or if things just seem a little bit odd, it may ask you to answer these following three questions. So we will hit continue. And from here, we will select the different questions that we want to answer. We will then go through and select a second question. And then we will do the same for the third question. And hit submit. This will show you what your answers were so you can confirm them. And on this page, we will have the option of putting in a phone number so you can receive a callback. This is another security feature in case there is a problem with your account or is if something happens such as a large transaction that we need to confirm, you will receive an automated callback. So in here we will type in our phone number. You can choose from a mobile phone, a work phone, or a home phone. You can now confirm the phone number that you typed in. We'll hit continue on this page. Now this next screen will have you set up a password reset question and answer. The way this works is if you forget your password, you can have your email address on file with us and you will be able to answer this question and be able to reset your password without calling in to us. So I'm gonna go through here and type in a question. and then we will hit submit. You can type in any kind of question and answer you want to, just whatever you know it is. And once we have completed that, we'll be redirected to our dashboard, which is the new home page. You can see here your different accounts you have set up and the balances that you have going on. Um, up here, you can visit the account section and get a closer look at the different accounts. You can also hit transfers here if you need to transfer between different accounts.
If you have any questions or encounter any problems in this process, please do not hesitate to give us a call at 931-680-1400, or you can send us an email by going to our website and clicking on the Email tab and then selecting the Technology Department.